So today I'm going to share with you some books that I've been reading recently. I don't really know if we should make that a series or if you should make that a monthly thing or whatever. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I'm kind of lost as to how I should organize my videos really because I want to talk about books but I don't know how. So the first book I want to talk about is On Chisel, Chisel? Chisel Beach. And this actually has been recommended by someone, so thank you. I'm sorry I don't remember your name, but you told me about that book and I was like, oh my god, I really want to read that. It's the first time I actually encounter an asexual character. This book was so accurate to how, to how I'm feeling. It was kind of crazy, especially because it's written by a man that's not asexual. That oh my god, that's difficult. Because it's written by a man who is not asexual, so I felt very surprised that he could, you know, describe so accurately the feelings. I'm just gonna read the first um, sentence of the book because it's kind of like a good summary. They were young, educated, and both virgins on this their wedding night, and they lived in a time when a conversation about sexual difficulties was plainly impossible. But it is never easy. That's exactly what it is. It's the story of a young couple. They're freshly married and they're on the wedding night and the woman is actually asexual. It is extremely accurate, extremely... It is extremely painful to read if you're a little bit asexual. Well, you're gonna be a little bit asexual. But if you're sensitive and if you feel deeply about that subject, because it is so true and so raw, yeah, that's a really good book. So thank you for recommending that to me. I really loved it. I read The Handmaid's Tale. So I know it's a classic for many, like, American, English, you know, people. But in France, it's not a classic at all. It sort of takes place in a repressive state where women are divided into categories. They're the wives, the martyrs, and the maids and all of them have a different um, world and that's the story of one particular maid uh, who is you know um, kind of not revolting herself but not giving in you know this whole um, despotism <laughs> So I have very mixed feelings when it comes to this book. The story is interesting. I don't really like dystopian books because it makes me feel like anxious and uncomfortable. Uh, and most of the time I think it lacks a lot of realism. This one doesn't really like realism. I feel like this book didn't exploit all its potential, if that makes any sense. I guess the end doesn't really please me that much because you don't really know what's happening. So that's probably what made me feel a bit like, mm. And then, last but definitely not least, ah, my god, <laughs> I finally got around reading The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, and, um, what could I say about that book? Um, I don't know, there are books you read, and they change, not, well, you know, they don't really change you, but they become alive when you read them and they stay with you afterwards. That's definitely one of those books. It resonated in me for so many reasons. I'm not depressed, at least not like Sylvia Plath was depressed, but depression is definitely something that's not foreign land for me. Feeling different, feeling lonely, feeling apart and off and odd all of the time and inappropriate and inadequate is definitely someone I someone is definitely something I'm familiar with. And you know, all her anxiety when it comes to not being able to write, not being able to be successful. That resonated in me so much. Uh, I think it's so beautifully written. There are so many images and metaphors that I loved. Um, it was brilliant and when it ended I was so sad. Um, it felt like having a friend always with me when I was carrying this book and reading it. And yeah, I could read it over and over again because it's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, getting emotional. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. I hope you find it interesting. And if you have any book recommendations, 
keep them coming I'm willing to read everything so I will see you later guys bye